How to build a private cloud. Five step-by-step -step guides for you private cloud adoption is not a quick endeavor. Businesses must first map out their goals and expectations. Define their cloud computing requirements, and then build on that model. The entire organization should play a role in this process, not just the IT department. So how to build a private cloud for your business? Here is a helpful guide. Ben.vn have for you. What is a private cloud? A private cloud is a cloud computing concept in which an organization of users has exclusive access to the infrastructure. Private clouds can be housed at an organization's own data center on servers rented from a third party, or through a private cloud provider that offers private cloud storage in addition to typical public shared multi-tenant cloud infrastructure. Depending on the provider's capabilities, why should use a private cloud? Private clouds provide the same control and security as traditional on-premises infrastructure. Here are some reasons why organizations choose to use private cloud computing. Security. Private cloud security is enhanced because private cloud traffic is often restricted to the organization's own transactions. Because private clouds include dedicated physical infrastructure. Organizations have greater control over the server, network, and application security. Long-term savings. While setting up the infrastructure to support a private cloud can be expensive. It can pay off in the long term. If an organization already has the necessary hardware and network for hosting, a private cloud can be much more cost-effective over time than paying a monthly fee to use someone else's server in the public cloud. Regulatory administration. Some places may specify where data is stored and where computation takes place. In areas where public cloud providers cannot provide service, a private cloud may be required. In addition, organizations with sensitive data, such as financial or legal firms, can choose private cloud storage to ensure they have full control over personally identifiable information or sensitive information. How to build a private cloud with five steps If you're considering building a private cloud, there are five steps you should take. Standardization consolidation, virtualization, automation, and orchestration. Taking such a layered approach will greatly improve your chances of success and help you uncover strengths and weaknesses in your system as you move toward your private cloud goals. Standardization Standardization is really the foundation when it comes to building a private cloud helping you succeed in your next step. During the standardization phase, you'll want to decide what hardware and software components you'll use to deploy your private cloud. Simplify your environment as much as possible because the more differentiated your systems are, the more complexity and cost you will incur when building your private cloud. This will become even more apparent during the automation and orchestration stages where complex multi-part custom integrations can be very time and money consuming. Consolidation after you have the systems together that you will use to create your private cloud. The next step you will move to is the consolidation phase. This is not new technology as servers and storage have been merged for many years. This stage is to limit the number of devices that will be managed. Replace low performance obsolete devices with systems that can scale to your needs. 
Virtualization Virtualization depends on your intended delivery model and private cloud design. Typically, most models require virtualization, but not all models. For instance, a pure pause model, usually not used for private clouds, does not need server virtualization because the platform can handle the allocation of the underlying resources. Network virtualization techniques such as SDN can also be used to provide additional flexibility for network resources. Automation Once you've reached this step, you've chosen the right system for you. Now it's time to modify your IT processes to your liking. This concept is simply understood as turning manually performed repetitive tasks into automated tasks. This is one of the key things that free up your IT staff's time so they can focus on things like service deployment. The automation toolkit you choose will have a lot to do with the basic consolidation and standardization decisions that are made. Not all products will work or work well with all hardware. Orchestration This is the final stage of the process and provides self-service capabilities to the private cloud architecture. There are two main components that you will want from the orchestration stage, a self-service portal and a service catalog. Collaborative systems are often more like a piece of software than just a product. A lot of times these products are the result of components that the supplier has purchased over time or different parts that are working together as a coordinating system. This will increase integration within the dispatch system itself. Be sure to check the system's integration before buying anything. Conclusion Those are the five basic steps that answer the question. How to build a private cloud? The steps above to build a private cloud infrastructure are just the beginning. To continue their journey in the cloud, IT will also need to implement processes such as chargebacks and reimbursements that hold business units accountable for the IT resources they provide and use.